Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Way in Wednesday. And all this feels First, I just want to apologize that I missed last week's Way in Wednesday. Sometimes life gets in the way and I wasn't able to make a video, but I want you to know immediately that I kept working hard and I kept achieving my goals throughout the past two weeks. And I'm here to talk about them for this week's Way in Wednesday. Um, so let's get straight to it. Let's not joke around. Currently, this is what I weighed in at this morning. 333.2 that's a total of 18 pounds and it's only been about three or four weeks I'm very happy with this number um, and I want to say it's been really rough to get to this point I've been very consistent the only time that I kind of fell off was on Valentine's Day but I'm a big believer of enjoying your holidays with your friends and family and especially your um, significant other. So, you know, I enjoyed myself. Um, but my tips for that would be if you know you're going out to dinner with the family or you're going to have a big lunch with your coworkers, um, what I personally did that helped me achieve this number in the past two weeks, even though I had maybe two cheat meals, was um, fasting. I fast 16, eight, um, 16 hours fasting, eight hour window. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up. It's called intermittent fasting. Um, so I'm, I've gotten so good at fasting over the past few years, trying it on and off with different diets and stuff that, uh, I've kind of trained my body to be able to go long periods of time without food and not feel the urge to eat food. Um, so essentially on those days where I know I'm going to eat like crap, I'll fast all day. And then when I get to that restaurant or I get to that family get together, I still make those healthy choices and I make sure that I'm at a calorie deficit. It's all you got to do. I just want you guys to enjoy yourself. So if you're not like me and you're uneducated a little bit and you're not sure if you should deviate once in a while or how you can deviate once in a while, how can you enjoy yourself, um, you know, during those times, you want to be able to fit that stuff in uh, the junk food, you know, the drinks, we all indulge in it and it sucks. You want to be able to fit it in. I totally get it. If you need any help or any advice, please let me know. Um, as for my diet, I've stayed the same. Uh, I'm still eating my five eggs for breakfast. Um, and I'm still eating my half a, or sorry, 40 grams of oats. I've been putting cinnamon sugar and two packets of stevia in the raw in my oats. Not cinnamon sugar, sorry. I've been using cinnamon and stevia to create a uh, low calorie cinnamon sugar to put in my oats. Um, I think the last time we spoke, I was doing oats with a scoop of protein powder um that i'm not really i wasn't really digging the flavor of that um so i just started using the cinnamon and the stevia i love it it's like a classic bowl of cinnamon sugar oats um so i've been doing the eggs the oats and i've been having a protein shake separate um sometimes with that food or maybe like an hour or so after or i'll save my protein shake um, for days that I'm going to the gym or something. So to me, my protein shake is kind of like my snack. I'll do the five eggs and the oats. And then for dinner, I'm doing, I'm still doing the 12 to 16 ounces of chicken breast. I usually just boil that in, in a little bit of salt water. Um, and I'll put some salsa on top with some sugar free sauce. Um, you just gotta be careful with the sauces cause they can really mess you up. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that eggs, oats for lunch or breakfast, lunch, whatever. I usually eat around noon um, and I've been doing dinner around like five or six and I've just been doing half a cup of rice and like 12 or 16 ounces of chicken breast. Um, the protein shake that I do make, um, it's important to me to have it. I don't necessarily need all the protein that's in it, but um, I've been doing protein, two scoops of whey protein and a scoop of five grams of creatine, a scoop of organic greens. It has like your daily vegetable contents in it. Um, that's really good for me because I'll be honest with you, even though I'm not eating a lot of food compared to what I used to, once I get through that 
you know, 12 or 16 ounces of chicken and that little uh, half a cup of rice, it's really hard for me to push through vegetables. I was like, you know, I was making my plate for dinner and I was adding another bowl or plate of like green beans or broccoli and they taste good, sure. I just haven't been enjoying them and that's not good. I want to be able to have vegetables in my diet, but to be completely honest with you, I haven't had any vegetables in probably a week other than something small like, um, you know, something that might have been added to my meal on Valentine's Day when I went out to eat with my fiance, stuff like that. So um, you don't need vegetables, contrary to popular belief, but you should definitely get the nutrients from those vegetables. So I take the organic greens powder. You can find it really cheap, and I'm sure you can find way better versions of it. I just got a cheap one at Walmart for $15. Um, I know that there's probably a purer form or a better form of it. If you have the money, do some research. Find something good that works for you. Um, and on to the next thing. We haven't really talked about this on Way in Wednesday because the first week that I started Way in Wednesday, I did my measurements. As you can see, this is the starting measurements. And if you've been watching this video, I already put my current measurements from today on here. The reason I already put it on there is because these videos tend to be long anyway. And I don't need another six minutes of me measuring myself and being surprised. I can be surprised and show you guys right now. So essentially, it looks like I lost about two inches um, average in most parts of, you know, where I've measured. I'm not trained in how to measure body parts i'm not really good i literally just put it on the biggest part for example um the stomach i push my stomach out as far as i can go i make sure that when i'm w measuring it i'm going like on the highest part of my love handles to the furthest part of my gut um thighs i'm going to the top of the upper thigh where it's like you know because as you go with your legs it gets fatter and it gets skinnier as it gets down to your calves so when it comes to this, I'm really pushing like for the biggest part of those body parts, the waist, I'm literally on there like a belt would be getting it perfectly tied up. So it looks like I lost about two inches over overall. And that is awesome because when I first did the measurements, I was like, uh, I'm not going to do this every week. It's going to be rough and I'm just not going to be able to be consistent with the measurements, but also like they're not going to change very much compared to weight. So it, it was very important to me to wait a while. So now that we've waited three weeks, it's really cool. I'm glad I waited because if I would have waited a week, it probably would have showed like a half an inch or something. And that's not really like fun to see. This is really fun to see, you know, you two inches. That's incredible to me. Um, as for goals, I think the last week I, I get off meds. I'll be honest with you, this probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, but when I started my weight loss journey, I was on blood pressure medication, um, and my goal was to like lose the weight and you know get off the medicine eventually. I just quit taking the medicine cold turkey. Um, I don't feel like I need it. I'm not a doctor, though. I might need it. Um, I'm going to get myself checked out sometime soon, but for now... I feel great. I'm full of energy. I haven't felt this good in a very long time. Um, mentally and physically, I'm very happy. I've, I've just been really loving life lately. And this is the perfect time to do it. If you're thinking about getting started on something and you want to change yourself, you know, spring is right around the corner. If you start now, you can drop 20 or 30 pounds before June or July and enjoy your summer. Get out there. Enjoy the sun. That's what I want to do. I'm just counting the minutes till I can sit outside and bathe in that sun. It's getting nicer and nicer every day. But as for get more productive, I have been getting more productive. Um, as you see in the beginning of this video, I throw some clips of me working out in the gym. Nothing crazy. I'm get, I'm just getting back into it. Um, but I've been really trying to find the time to get out and work out. Um, if you don't have a gym membership, you could check out Calisthenics which are essentially like push-ups, um, squats, stuff that you can do with your body weight. Um, just, just some tips for you guys. Calisthenics as an obese person like me, and maybe you if you're watching this, it might be really hard to get into because it's mostly body weight exercise, or it is body weight exercises. And if you're really heavy, um, it's going to be hard for you to use your body. You're going to be too heavy. 
So, um, you know, et cetera. But the um, get more productive, been going to the gym. I'm trying to start boxing classes. I've been talking with some friends. I bought some gloves. So I'm definitely doing some stuff. Um, and as the spring comes forward, it's going to be easier for myself and for you um, to get out there to be more productive because you don't have to worry about the cold and the depression that comes with the winter time and all that crap. So, um, yeah, let's finish this up early. We got a, you know, a, a shorter video than usual. That's, that's good. That's what I want to get to straight to the point without all the rambling. Um, I just want to talk about, I had a little bump in the road, uh, the past week. When last way and Wednesday was supposed to get uploaded, I didn't upload it because I was just too packed with stuff. Um, last week when we did, when I was supposed to have way in Wednesday, I was at about three, 37, 38. Um, so that was like crap. I think, uh, that was like a six or seven pound difference from the week before where I already lost seven pounds. So I lost seven pounds that first week and then we did a video. Um, and then the second week I didn't do a video, but I lost like six or seven pounds that week. I just didn't make a video. Um, so when that week was over and I didn't make a video, I was still exercising and eating right and working out. Um, and I got to like 336 one day. Um, and then Valentine's happened and whatever. I ate a little bit of crap. I had a few drinks. The next day, my weight was the same. So I was like, okay, I didn't gain any. I didn't lose anything back from the drawing board. I had a good time. That's what it's about. Um, you know, I took my precautions. I fasted throughout the day. I picked some healthier options at the restaurant. I'm not saying they were healthy options. Healthier. Um, just to make it a little easy, but still enjoyable. Um, but for days, I think like four or five days, I was eating the same thing, working out, not consistently, but you know, just doing some stuff here and there. And my job is a little taxing, like when it comes, like it's cardio and it's a little bit of lifting. So I'm getting a little work at home. But for like four or five days, I was coming into this room here and getting on the scale every morning, 337.4, the next day, 337.2. The next day, 337.6. It was just bouncing around, and I just couldn't understand it because I know I was eating at a deficit. Um, so yesterday when I woke up, I weighed in at 336.9, somewhere around there. Um, and I was just like, wow. You know, we lost all that weight the first week. We lost all that weight the second week. All that weight the second week. But we didn't make a video. And I was really coming. I was really hoping to come in and just bust it out. And I was super upset because I didn't want to go from, I didn't want to tell you guys that I lost a bunch of weight the second week. And then for a whole week, I was like fighting a plateau. So I don't know what it was. I just started working harder. Um, I started adding a little extra cardio stuff. I was like not necessarily going to the gym more, but I mean like trying to be more productive at home, trying to move, move some more. Um, and yesterday I decided I was going to just eat cause I was trying to push through this plateau. I decided I would fast and I would just eat my protein shake, my five eggs and half a cup of oats. Now the serving size says it's either a quarter or a half, either way. Uh, I think it's a quarter actually. That's half a cup sounds like a lot. Either way, the serving size says a half a cup or a quarter, but it also says 40 grams. If you weigh that oats, a half a cup is more than 40 grams. It's, uh, I don't remember the exact number because when I saw it, that they were different, even though they said they were the same serving size, they were so drastically different in my eyes that I was just like, whoa. I'm going to weigh my food. So I've been weighing it to 40 grams, which is way less than what it's saying was half a cup or a quarter of a cup for the same serving. It was less. And, um, I think that really made a difference. I started, you know, just paying attention to those little details. Um, you gotta be careful because these food companies are, are legally allowed to deceive you as long as it's not a huge difference. Um, but yesterday I had just the eggs, the oats and the protein shake. However, I added a little extra oats. It was, it was probably like 50 grams, you know, just a little extra carbs. Cause I knew I wasn't going to eat my second meal that I normally eat my chicken and my rice. Um, 
I already known I was at a calorie deficit the past few days, but I wasn't dropping anything. Um, and I was worried that I hit that plateau. So I decided I was going to cut my food for one day. Um, I'm not a professional. I'm just telling you guys what I'm doing and I'm allowing you to see if it's working for me. I might come in next week and go, it did not work for me. I cut my food that day and I lost a couple pounds, but then after I brought my food back up, it just went back up to my normal weight. I got to find something else. I'm just telling you guys what I'm doing. Um, so yesterday I had the eggs. I had about 50, 55 grams of oats and I had a protein shake. Lately, I've been replacing, I don't know if I said it in my first video, my protein shake. I was making it with almond milk and coffee. Um, I was using about 12 ounces of almond milk on Sweden, which is only about 45 calories. But since I hit that plateau, I was really trying to find any little thing I can cut back to try to see if that makes a difference. So instead of using almond milk, I started using water. I was using like four or five ounces of almond milk, about 10, 20 calories maybe. Um, and then I started using water. And then I started using, um, I still use my coffee. So I do about 12 ounces of water or milk. And then I do about six ounces of coffee. And then that's when I add my two scoops of protein and my organic green powder and my creatine, whatnot. Um, but yeah, sorry for the ramp. Sorry for the ramble. I think I'm about done here. Um, I'm excited to see what next week goes. I'm already 18 pounds out of the hundred. That is my goal. And I'm only three weeks in. Um, it's been really fun. I'm going to try to be more consistent with the uploads. I literally started, did two weeks straight, um, and then I skipped. And, you know, and I'm sorry, I don't like to, and I don't think you should do this either. If you're not feeling it or things are going crazy and you're doing something like this where you're putting yourself out there, put yourself first. Put your weight loss journey first. Put your health first. Screw the video. If I'm watching you and if you're watching me, I know that as, as long as I know that you're still working hard and you're still going towards your goals, if you need that week off, I'm all for it. And I hope you guys understand that for me. I didn't necessarily need the week off. I just felt too much pressure over little things. And I was really just trying to get all my eggs in a basket. Um, but like I said, the most important thing to me is I didn't deviate from my goals and I kept working towards them. So, and you should too. Uh, yeah. And I guess that wraps it up. Please subscribe and share with your friends. And if you don't already make sure you follow me on Instagram and, and Twitter. My Instagram is Christopher Norris official. My Twitter, I will have to put in the description because this name was too long and I can't remember exactly what I put. So thanks again. Have an awesome night and keep working towards your goals. Bye.